Hey folks, hope everybody's getting ready for a good weekend, and I'm not out of town yet. But this ran across my YouTube feed, and this is the first newscast I saw that uh, gave the people this information. <coughs> I gave it out months ago in my community post. Hardly got any feedback on it. It's scary. It's very scary. The problem is they don't know how many more of these illegal Chinese labs are here in the country making viruses to kill us because they're showing just uh, HIV, I think, and um, Ebola. There are a lot more viruses they were creating in that lab, and they don't know how many rats got out either. So if you come down ill with something strange, <laughs> you need to head to the hospital because these could be anywhere. In fact, I was at Walmart. I got more hand sanitizer. I don't trust them. I don't trust them to be honest with us because they had this information back in March of this year. Nobody, they didn't even publish it till August. And now it's coming out on the mainstream media. But it's true, and they don't have a clue how many more of these labs are around. But here you go. Y'all have a good one. I'll talk at you later, maybe. Bye on China that you're a part of says it found pathogens labeled HIV and Ebola inside a secret illegal Chinese owned bio lab in California. Here's an important moment from the hearing you took part in earlier this week. Watch. How many of these labs exist throughout the country? We don't know that. And there could be more Reedley Californias around the country. Every elected official in this country should be concerned about whether an illicit lab with dangerous infectious substances could be hiding in their community. It has been almost a year since the discovery of the illegal lab, and we are still working to remove the chemicals and illegal medical devices on site.